Be gone and fly far from the church of God, from the souls made by God in his image and redeemed by the precious blood of the divine Lamb. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You can try all you want. It's too late. Abby's already gone. <laughs> thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Judy, your sister's soul is being slain in hell. Her screams echo through the pit. Give us this day our daily bread. Or is it gone? Nothing but an empty house. I can do anything with. No, no, Judy, don't! Don't let her deceive you! You need to stay with me! Restrain the child! Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us! Lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil! <laughs> Thanks. I'm so sorry, Father Todd. Oh, no. None of that. And remember, it's not Father. I'm sorry. No need to be. It's not your fault we're excommunicated. We both know whose fault that is. But with Abby, that's... that's me. You didn't. Point of fact, you did. Stop it, Dylan. He's right. I ruined the exorcism and now Abby is... No, you absolutely did not. You love your sister. Of course I do. Well, that's how we're going to stop it. That's how we're going to win. That's a rather simplistic way to describe the challenges we face Not at... now! But I ruined the exorcism and it took back control. This is a process. It's a marathon, not a sprint. We just had a setback is all. Seems like it's been nothing but setbacks. It's been days. It has been. And I think it's time we start talking about the reality we find ourselves in. No, no, no. We are at that point. We need to discuss what we're going to do with the host body in the event that no, we can No, this is not a conversation that we're having. Oh, no, no. None of that, no. Everything's gonna be fine. Abby's not gone. We are not giving up. We aren't. We aren't. A nice sentiment. Truly. There's only one issue. How do we deal with the demon in the other room? We just gave it our best shot, and thanks to... It didn't work. Well... There is... Someone who can help. And no. Well? No! What... what is it? It's not a what, it's a who. Ricky Saxon. Ricky Saxon? The lead singer of the band Crimson Cougar. They had a huge hit in 83 with... She's, uh... She's only 69. After that, he went solo and then went nowhere. I'm confused. How is a rock star going to help? Because, while touring with some metal bands, he also became a master of the occult and a world-class exorcist. Back in the 90s, he consulted with the church some, and that's how we met him. And you could say he uh, had a hand in ruining our lives and careers. But do you think he can help? He might be our only hope. Good morning, sir. I'm here to Not interested. Pardon? Look, I don't care about your overpriced cookies, and I don't want any of your shitty popcorn. I'm here to speak to you about our Lord and Savior. Yeah, definitely don't need one of those. But, sir... Don't you, sir, me. Look, I'm a busy man. Shut up. Uh, it really looks like you could use some Jesus in your life. Pass. Look, kid, you got nothing I want. I mean, maybe. 
Maybe if you had a kilo of some premium nose candy. <laughs> I'm 15. Yeah, whatever. I don't understand. I'm not here to sell anything. I'm here to talk to you about the bliss that is having a personal relationship with God. The ways your lives could be fulfilled by God. Okay, fine. You win. Congratulations. You won me over. But look, here. Gotta do something real fast. So feel free. Keep telling me all about your kooky religion. Oh, um, you must be thinking about some others, which I totally get. Um, they're really odd and don't know what they're talking about. Oh, but you do. <laughs> well, of course. What we believe is the true way to salvation. The only way. Thanks. Don't you want to give up your burdens? Uh, I think I'll keep a hold of those, but you know, I've got something else for you. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. So this is what a retired rock star does with all of his time. Todd, what the hell do you want? I need Ricky. Yeah, but I don't go by that anymore. My name is Chuck Spall. I know, but we need Ricky Saxon. I thought you said his hit was in the early 80s. It was. So shouldn't he be 60? He is in his 60s. And the fact that he looks 30 years younger than he actually is isn't even the weirdest thing about him. So that's it. That's the long and short of it. You and Dylan are out there still trying to perform exorcisms even though you were kicked out of the church. We aren't trying, we're doing. We're out there helping people. Maybe you've given up, but not everyone else has. Yeah, but now you're in over your head and you need me to ride in and save your buttholes. That's not exactly you correct. You screwed the pooch, and you've had to come crawling to me for help. You know, I appreciate how much you need me. Not quite. My expertise. Not exactly. My kickassery is required, and it's very big of you to come beg me for help. No. I'm not. Not happening. I'm begging you for your help. Hard pass. What? Look, I'm out of the game. I may have been the best that there ever was, but I'm retired. So now please get out of my house. You can't mean that. Oh, I do. I have day drinking to do. So, vamoose. Ricky. My name is Chuck Spall. I begged you. I did everything. Yeah, that... and it felt great for me. But I need you to leave. Uh, <laughs> can I help you? You can, apparently. Todd says you're my sister's only hope. So please, help. Look. <laughs> As of a month ago, I was just a normal college student. I, I went to school, and I worked, and I was on a bowling league. And then I find out that there's this whole other world full of dangerous monsters out there. Okay, fine. I can adapt. And that's just the way it is, and I can accept that. But what I can't accept is that you can help, but won't. Look. You don't understand all of the history that's at play here. You're right. But I do know that after my parents died, I'm the only person Abby has. I'm supposed to protect my little sister. I can't do that without you. Come on, Judy. We'll figure something out. We'll find a way to help your sister, Judy. I promise. There's yeah, gotta chop, be a chop, ladies. I thought you said this was a rush job. You son of a... This is a bad idea. I know. 
very bad. Yes, I know. Unfathomably bad. Good to see you too, Dylan. Glad to see that stick up your ass hasn't gotten any smaller now that you're not a priest. <laughs> Not helping, Ricky. Er, Chuck. You're not making your case any better. Well, there is nothing this lecherous man can do to make his case better. He's a womanizer, a drunkard, and worst of all, a musician. Just name my three best qualities. Thanks for being my hype man. But I need to get to work, and you two need to get out of my way. Tone it down, but I agree. We need to get started. Right. So you two stay up here. Not happening. I mean, I can understand if you don't want Dylan to come with you, but... Eh. You're both staying up here. Because to do what I need to do, I don't need a couple of by-the-book pencil pushers screwing with my flow. Kid comes, though. You need my help? Nope, you're completely useless. But I like an audience while I perform. Demons are dicks. Ah, oh, you're such a dick. Oh. Hello. Hi. Judy, who's the loser? This is Chuck's ball and he's gonna... Yeah, it's, 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 don't, don't engage. Don't engage. And loser? Ha. The former priest couldn't cut it. So I have a hard opinion. I want to say... How about... You... Oh, hobo, I mean. <laughs> Shit kickers like you have jokes for days. That is until I kick your metaphysical ass all the way back to hell. Oh, badass. I'm shaking in my shackles. He's so chattier than those do gooders. Oh, better looking, too. I can go that far. You do have a certain look about you, though. Holy shit. You're Ricky Saxon. Got a fan. Not quite. I have heard about you, though. I've spoken to those in hell who have crossed paths with you. I have to say, I'm... In awe of my kickassery? I'm impressed. You know, you can't get under my skin. So, don't even try. <laughs> I don't have to. You know, I've been told you were never that good, even in your glory days, uh, which were a long time and a few pounds ago. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> a fat joke. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what I think is funny? Is that I'm about to reach inside of that girl and rip you out by your nutsack. Nutsack? Nutsack! <laughs> Okay, so you too have some skill. Not many of your kind can reach this plane at will. Baby, I'm one of a kind. Does that line work? It's been known to- You know what? Shut up. Hey, you are gonna tell me your name, and you are going to release your hold on this child. My name? You shall tremble to hear it. I am wrong. I'm an Earl of Hell. I command 30 legions of demons. I have plundered the great kings of the earth. I have raised entire cities. I have destroyed the dignities of legions of man. And I have a Grammy and an MTV Music Video Award. So piss off back to hell. Demons! You will return from whence you came. You will release this child. You will... Will play your soul! You are a fool. You think you can cast me out? Me? You are an insignificant slug. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You are deaf. 
and dumb, fumbling around in the dark to try and comprehend something that would turn your brain to jelly just for the knowing. No, you are a fat little piglet ready for the slaughter. I'm not that fat. And you are no longer amusing. Be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I told you so. Seriously? I told you so. Well, I did. Not helpful. Well, now that your silly gambit has failed, I think it's time we face facts. We are not doing that. Look, I don't know what your deal is. And frankly, right now, I just don't give a good gosh darn. I've been with this parasite for weeks. I've listened to it talk about all the horrible things it was doing to Abby. And I watched her slowly deteriorate, just get worse and worse. But within a minute of you being in there, you were able to do something. And you've gotten closer than anyone. I still need your help. My sister needs your help. Gosh darn. So you do whatever you need to do to go in there and kill that monster. You're right. I got this. Yeah, maybe, you know, maybe I went in a little cocky, but I mean, why wouldn't I? I mean, I'm amazing. I am the fucking man. Language. I am the man. What is this now? I've got this. Yeah. I'm a little rusty, understandable. I just need to go get my shit, and then I'm gonna go back down there and curb stomp that piece of garbage. Please don't curb stomp, children. Metaphysically curb stomp. Jesus, what's wrong? Kid, you're coming with me. Where are we going? Well, if you're going where I think you are, it's probably not a very good idea. Don't care. I need to get my stuff, and Gary is... Well, Gary, Gary's probably still pissed off at me, so... You're gonna help me get my shit back. Wait, Gary? That's probably not a Too good late. idea. I don't, I'm not sure. Too it. late! So that's Gary, I take it? Yep. And he's got something of mine we're gonna need if we're gonna help your sister. Okay. Are you writing down everything I'm saying? Of course I am. It, it's good to write things down. You've literally written down everything I said to you. Wait, is this stuff about your sister? It's good to keep track of these things. Storm 10th, 10 a.m., head rotates 360 degrees and vomits what appears to be pea soup. We'll need to confirm. Pea soup confirmed. Look, I'm organized, I'm meticulous, I'm... Anal? Fine, I am. But this is how I'm coping. My entire reality has blown up around me, and this is comfortable, this is normal. Yeah, digging through vomit is not normal, but... I get it. Thank you. So, we just need to ask your friend for your things back? Mm-hmm. Trouble is he kind of hates me and wants to kill me. Wait, why? Oh, because I slept with his girlfriend 25 years ago. Gary! Ricky Saxon, my favorite drug-fueled degenerate. Well, I actually go by Chuck now. I would say you have some balls showing up here, but we both know yours shriveled up years ago. Says the thousand-year-old man. I'm sure your balls ain't the only thing that shriveled up on you, Gary. A thousand ah. years? Oh, yeah, uh, Gary here, he's a lich. You know, undead warlock, keeps his soul in a phylactery. Ah, he's been around for about a millennia. Unfortunately, his taste in fashion stopped in the 70s. That's rich. Coming from the guy who peaked in the 80s, these threads are priceless, man. Yeah, whatever. Look, Gary, I came to get my shit back. Oh, sure. Oh. Wait a minute. I hate you, 
And I'm going to kill you now. Huh? Oh! Oh! Oh. Stop! Stop! Who's the kid? Nobody. Just stuck in a bad situation. You don't have to do anything to her, Gary. Come here, child. So, you want, uh, a hellspawn? A witch? Or a succubi? I'm a college freshman. Wow. So this has to be, like, crazy, like, super crazy for you. It is, sir. I'm, I'm just here to help my sister. <clears throat> and you're not some crimson cougar groupie? Until this morning, I'd never even heard of the band. <laughs> I know, right? Kids these days, they got no taste. You're lucky you never had to listen to that tripe. Well, my platinum record is green. Shut up! Ow! Ow. Ow. Sir, it seems like you have every reason to hate <laughs> Mr. Spall. He killed my girlfriend. You, you said you slept with her. You slept with her too? Oh shit, I thought you knew that already. Now, I'm going to have to kill you super slowly. You dick! God, come on, Gary. You both know it had to be done. She got a taste for blood, man. It wasn't gonna stop. She was a vampire. That's what they do. A vampire? Yeah, but she was about to bring the whole church down on you. They would have killed her and then killed you too. Yes, but I know for okay, a fact that- Okay, I get that you cared for her, but she was already gone, man. She was just seeing red. I was trying to help you out. Then why didn't you come see me after? Because I knew you'd want to kill me. Fair point. Look, I know you're pissed, but I did you a solid one. Did you have to sleep with her first? I, I'm hoping it was first. <laughs> Can't bone dust, dude. <laughs> I am still thinking about killing you. If I can interject, Mr. Gary. I like the Mr. part. You've got 30 seconds. Make him good, or I will kill the both of you. It seems like you have every reason to hate Mr. Spall, but from what I can see, I think he was just trying to help you out. And, I mean, I know he was a jerk about it, but that lines up with everything I know about him, and I only met him a few hours ago. Try knowing him for 40 years. It'll just make you sad. His heart seems to be in the right place. You don't know me. But I promise that after he helps me, I'll make him come back here and make amends with you. But for right now, my sister is possessed by something evil, and there isn't much time left. I need his help. Please. Please. 30 seconds are up. Go oh, get Ricky's, I mean Chuck's, stuff. Yeah! Maybe we'll kill him later. Just go get his bag, it's in the back. Oh, oh you're not gonna regret this, Gary. The only reason you're still alive is because I like this kid. So I'm going to give you your stuff back. But we will continue this conversation later. Thank you. You, you have no idea how much this means to me and my sister. You're a good man. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I mean, hell, I kind of hope that this demon you're up against just kills the asshole and saves me the trouble. What the hell? 
It's all there. So that's the go bag you left back here in 95. I may be an ancient evil, and a drug dealer, and a murderer, but I'm not a thief. You know what? You are the best, you shriveled up anus. Time to go! Language. Thank you. That's why you brought me? Well, you did convince me to help you, so I figured you could maybe work your magic on uh, the old scrote liquor back there. Let's finish this. Okay, you're back. I wanted to throw you around some more. And Judy, I'm so glad you could be here for the end. We're so close. You be quiet. Mr. Spall's got his secret weapon and he's gonna cast you out. That's right. What is that? A beast, the daughter of some saint. What do you take me for? Think you can banish me with some souvenirs and trinkets? It's not bone powder. Consecrated salt? Nope. Really don't think you can stop me with ashes of an angel. I am wrong. I am eternal. I am the defiler. This ain't ashes. That's right. It's a shitload of cocaine. Yeah, it's a shit. Cocaine? Let's dance, ugly. <laughs> no! Oh, it's been a long time. Hmm. What, what is, is that, that supposed to do? to do? Just wait for it. Uh. Huh. Jeez, maybe Gary did steal my- No, it's cocaine! <laughs> Mr. Small? <laughs> now what was the point of that? I needed to get my whole body on the astral plane. No, Chuck. Name's not Chuck. It's Ricky Saxon. I'm gonna rock you like a hurricane. Wait, that's not your fault.
You know I have worse things than a hose? Kid? So, uh, sure I can't get you one of these? Oh no, I am 20. Oh, yeah, duh, right. So, like, whiskey, then? Uh, no, thank you. Wait, what are you doing here? Your sister better not be possessed again, <laughs> or I am charging this time. Uh, no, Abby's doing wonderfully, all things considered. That's because of you. Because I am the best? So, if she's not possessed, uh, what are you doing here? I'm here because what I saw you do was amazing. There's a whole other world of nightmares out there, and you seem to be the only one that can stop them. Shit, yeah. I don't know why you stopped before, but there are a lot of bad things out there, and other people need your help. It did feel good to be back at it again. <laughs> So keep going, and you won't be alone either. I've seen what you can do, and I think that I can help. Todd, I'm back. It's Ricky. Man, Jesus.